Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. If you hear some thunder and whatnot going on in the background, we got a big old storm blasting through here. Uh, lots of rain and thunder and lightning. Tried to get some on video, but you know, it's dark out. And trying to video rain in the dark. Yeah, it was kind of a effort in futility, if you will. So, anyway, uh, I guess I guess I've already marked what this is all about. Um, I was at I've gone to Academy. I was looking for I want I want I want the the, the big round like uh, one ounce round steel. Um, fishing weights to do a, a, a big Liari type thing. Um, and while I was there, while, while I was there, uh, you know, I'm walking and you, you can't go to a place like that and not walk and explore, you know? So, uh, anyway, they had a, they had a small clearance thing set up in a, in one of their buggies. And, uh, shop a cart what whatever y'all call it um, anyway I found this where are we at here he is I'm trying to get the best light without the glare um, yeah it's a Gerber mini paraframe and shard combo, combo, clip folding knife and keychain tool. It says it's got a pocket clip, a fine edge, a 2.2 inch blade. I guess measured the blade itself. They don't measure to the to the pivot. And then this seven functions on this uh, mini crowbar. <laughs> Crowbar's got himself a baby brother. What do you think of that? So, anyway, uh, what I do? You need a knife to open your knife. Ain't that great? There it is. So, anyway, uh, I saw this. It didn't have a price on it, so I went up and asked the gal at the cash register. And she, you know, she popped it in and she said, it's $4. I said, $4? You sure? She said, yeah. I said, sold. Go ahead and ring it up. So, I mean, I'm a sucker for knives. And I like, I like little knives. What is this in here? It's going to be too damn small to read is what it is. USA, Caution, Germany, Mexico. Wow, there's a lot of different disclaimers or whatever on there. Uh, anyway, nothing in there I really need to know. I mean, I've always liked Gerber knives. Um, I don't know that I have a folder yet, but you know that's a that's a cute little knife. You know, folded it. It's not all that. It's not all that big at all. Uh, to open it, let's see. Nope, I can't one hand it. I get my thumb in there. I just cut all my cut all my thumb all my fingernails. Uh, anyway. Not, it's not dull. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. You'll shave me. It is really super, super light. Let's see how, how accurate they are. Well, I'd say that's right at... 
right at two and a quarter. Close enough to two and a quarter. Just a little over two and a half from the pivot. Well, two inches from the center of the pivot. Two and a half inches from the center of the pivot. Yeah, that's a fairly nice tiny knife. A little, little lock, you know, in, in body lock. It's part, it's actually part of the part of the, the knife itself. You know, part of the, one of the scales, one of the sides of the knives, and it's a little difficult. There we go. It's going to have to get broken in. I'll probably end up carrying this. Figure out how to carry it. The, the end of the blade goes right in, right in there, in that hole um, where I would put a lanyard. So. In order to pocket carry, you know, I like to have a lanyard. But we'll see. Uh, it, it'll probably end up in my pocket. Now let's see this other little other little dealio. Uh, what do they call this thing? Shard. I should probably go on. YouTube University to figure out what it is, but we got an idea. Come on now. We'll have to replace that razor blade, I guess. It does not want to come out. Come on, you. Make me look like a fool. There we go. So, a seven in one tool. Well, there's a little, I guess that's a little itty bitty Phillips screwdriver. And that end could be used as a, as a uh, flathead screwdriver. It's kind of awkward. But it make a nice little pry bar, you know, carry on my on my key ring. So that's where that's gonna end up. Oh I think I think you know four bucks. I think I got a heck of a deal. Uh, let's go back and see if they had any more, if they put any more out. What I don't think there was any more of this size in, in the in the buggy. There were a couple of larger knives and whatnot. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't looking for knives. Of course, I'm seldom looking for knives when I go ahead and buy one. But uh, there you go, people. Uh, my take on this little Gerber. I call it a skeleton. I don't know. Paraframe. Uh, I kind of like it. It's it's halfway sharp anyway. So I don't like cutting paper with knives. It really doesn't do the edge any good. But I'll pull out some leather. I'll give this a couple straps on on the leather. It'll be good to go. So thank you all for stopping in, checking out this little quickie. I really appreciate you each and every one of you. Uh, Give me a, a like or a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Howdy, howdy to all y'all uh, new subscribers out there. Um, so I'll see y'all next time, folks. Salancha and bye-bye.